Hi, welcome to Live, Learn, and Grow, where we live, learn, and grow together. I am your host, Betty. You know, I tried to make a video yesterday. I did it on my camera, and sometimes I'm able to take it from my camera and then download it, um, upload it to the YouTube. But some for some reason today, it's not working. It says there's no video there. So I have to start this whole video over, and I hope I can do it some justice because yesterday, I, I think it was pretty on point yesterday. So uh, let me just get comfortable here. I want to talk about our men lovers of themselves. Now, there is a scripture in the Bible that tells us that in the last days, men will be lovers of themselves. Y'all look that scripture up because I ain't got time to look it up, okay? So, and a lot of people have a different, a lot of different meanings for what they think that scripture means. But I think it means this, because I've been hearing from women all over telling me the same thing about men, saying that when the man penis is inside of the vagina and they're having sex, that the man is not able to ejaculate. And they've been asking me, why is that? Why is that, you know, that he can't ejaculate? So he's in, in there, you know, for hours. And it's not an issue of a man can't get it up because in the cases that we're talking about, a man can get it up. And some of the women tell me that it's a pretty nice size that they're getting it up to. And they're even able to touch their G-spot, which when you touch the woman's G-spot, it makes her release and release and release every time you touch the G-spot because men, you control that. Okay, so this that is happening with the, with the woman, but after several hours of the man, you know, being in the vagina, pounding on her, it starts to get dry. And the vagina, the vagina is not a dry area. It's a very moist area. It's very, it's very soothing and comfortable to the, to the penis. It's designed for the penis. And the, the, the penis is designed to ejaculate. But I was telling the women, I think, and this is mainly my opinion, and opinions are like belly buttons, that the reason why you find in a lot of men nowadays can't ejaculate um, and there is no physical problems. Like it's not like he didn't have got his prostate removed because prostate removal will cause a man not to be able to ejaculate. Okay, but if, there, if there's no problem like um, prostate and there's no, um, um, what do you call it, um, ED. Um, erect, erectile dysfunctional issue. So the brother is normal. He just can't ejaculate inside the vagina. It is because he is masturbating too much. And that's why I say, I believe that scripture said men are becoming lovers of themselves is because they are masturbating. And when a man masturbates so much, his, his penis gets used to the friction of his hand, okay, the tightness, the grip of his hand that he's using to ejaculate or whatever he's using, the sock or whatever, the penis gets used to that. Then when it gets up into the vagina, which is normal, it feels abnormal. And so he he can try if he may. He's like the engine that can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, but then nothing happens, okay? And so after hours of doing this, then your woman is getting dry. And then your ego, in some cases, the man's ego wants to put that on the woman and say, well, she's just dry. Well, no, she's not dry because she's done already had 13 orgasms, okay, to your nun. And, and after a while, you know, she just, she's orgasm out. So it's really, it's not her fault. It's that you are masturbating and you are not getting the pleasure that the Lord designed for you to get inside the woman's vagina. And so the only way you can combat this issue, and let me say this before I go to the combating of the issue. Now for men, it is an ego thing for some of y'all to make sure that your woman gets um, a lot of orgasms and you do try to last long so she can get a lot of orgasms. And I applaud you for that because that is the way to make your woman feel good. But now our end, 
it makes us feel good when we can take you there as well. And so we love the fact that you hold him back, you know, so that we can get ours and get all of our pleasure and, you know, until we're exhausted because that's fun to get exhausted in that way. But when we, after we get that and then we're ready for you and you can't get there, you know, it's, it affects our ego too, especially when we don't know what the problem is. So to rectify the problem so that you can both have the pleasure and, and uh, when you're having sex is you have to stop masturbating. So women, it's very important that you have this conversation with the man. And it's a very sensitive conversation because men, um, when, when they look at their penis, it's an extension of their brain. And in some cases, it runs everything in their life you know, more so than the brain. So be, you know, be gentle with the conversation. Let the man know that you appreciate, you know, all the orgasms that he's given you. But at some point, after a couple of hours, you know, you, you're getting dry and you're getting tired, you know, um, and you you would like for him to, to release so that you all can both collapse and, and, you know, and fall asleep or get some rest. So have that conversation with your man. Have him, you know... Let him know that, you know, you're not going to have sex for a couple of weeks because you need him to go without touching himself for about two weeks so that when the penis comes up into the, I like to call it the sugar walls, when the penis comes into the sugar walls and, and the walls um, con contract and on the penis and that feels really good to the man. So women do your keloids because they love when you squeeze them like that. It just makes sex more pleasurable for him and so when you get there when you stop masturbating for a while and then you you get in into the sugar walls it'll be a much pleasant pleasurable experience for you for you and your woman and I always say this that if you're in a committed relationship which in my book means being married that you should not let 72 hours go past before you are pleasing your man again because men like to have sex more than women. That's just a known fact. And there are some women that like to have sex more than men. And um, most, some people may call them nymphomaniacs. I don't know. I think it's just kind of normal for a woman to want to have sex that much as well. But you want it to be good for both parties. So if you could, you know, um, keep the keloid so you could, you know, squeeze him. Because, see, and here's the thing. So when he's masturbating, he's stroking his, his own penis, there's a grip on that. So when you do your keloid exercise and you get your muscles in there real strong, you can help your man out a lot because it may, although it may not feel the grip of his hand, It'll still be a grip, okay? That that's a good grip and a good feeling that he that can help him get to the point of ejaculation. But if there's no, but if you can't you can't grip it, I remember my brother, <laughs> bless his heart, may he rest in peace. He used to say he didn't like having sex with women that you can go and you can open their legs and say hello and you'll hear an echo and they say hello 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 because it's so wide open because that's a woman that hasn't learned to control her muscles in her vagina okay so ladies do your keloids to control that muscle in your vagina so you can squeeze him because then that helps him you know, with his ejaculation because his hand is doing that squeezing. Although I don't think the muscles can ever get as strong as a hand, but hey, let's give it a try. So that's why, again, that's so when a man, and this is what concerns me, is that when these little boys are masturbating, they start to get puberty about 10 years old and they start to get curious about their bodies and then they start masturbating at 10 years old. My concern is by the time they get old enough to really have sex, which I don't even know what age that is anymore, but I know I don't think it's 10. I hope it's not 10. I hope it's somewhere like 19 or 20. But my concern is by, if they're masturbating for all these years, 
that by the time they do get into a woman's vagina, they won't have any need for a woman. And that's what the Bible is saying, that men will be lovers of themselves because they won't have a need for us sexually because they can do it themselves. So we have to help them out, women. That is our job um, as, woman, as a woman is to help your man understand that although that gives you pleasure for the moment, it is giving you, it's going to mess up your, your relationship for, a, for the long haul. So let's help, let's help them understand this and let's help them refrain from touching themselves, from masturbating. Now, someone asked me too, is it the same for a woman if she masturbate with artificial equipments inside her vagina, will it be the same way when she gets a, 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 a real penis in her vagina, will it affect her the same way? I don't know. I don't masturbate with things in my vagina. Okay, I've never been that, that woman to do that, so I don't know what that's like. I don't even see the thrill in that, but some women tell me there is a thrill in that, especially during those periods of times when you're not with the man. But I will research that. Okay, and before I close, I want to talk about this giveaway that I said on the last video. I think I said it on the last video. So my daughter makes these natural products called Enjoy Natural Products. I'm going to put her website in the, in the, um, in the description. And for the giveaway, if you email me, the first three people that emails me, and I'll put my email down there, um, and put your, your address or your P.O. box, wherever you want me to send it, I will send you an, um, a, a gift, of not a basket, but it'd be, um, you know, some products. It'd be some um, shea butter. Um, she has this great um, toner that's all natural so it doesn't dry your skin because as you know toners has alcohol in it so hers doesn't have alcohol in it it's got tea tree oil and some other things uh, aloe vera so it's very refreshing on your skin okay and um and maybe some eczema oil be, uh, some eczema cream because it is dry outside and a lot of people have problems with eczema and her cream is very good for that so if you're my first three people that email me and leave me your information i will send you that gift basket that little um little token of my appreciation for um, watching my video and hope that you like her products as well so listen i'm gonna end i'm gonna come right back and make another video Okay, so hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and share this with your, um, with your groups. My name is Betty. Have a very Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you're doing, do it happy. I'm out. One.